Please. Yeah, so I have read probably almost every article written on electric bicycles, uh, regardless the language that it's in. So I've downloaded uh, tons of articles, dropped it in Google Translate just to consume it, whether it's written in Dutch, I don't care. I, I, my job is to know more about the market than anybody else. So I've consumed information like that. Any interview of my competitors, if they mention something about their sales number in a particular year, I have spreadsheets of all my competition and how many bikes they said they sold, what date was that, and then I map out their you know, um, uh, selling patterns. I also look at, like I, I even go into their code on their website. I go into their code on their website and I have crawlers that check it every day of how many bikes are they selling per day? What designs are they doing? Like the more information I have, the better. But a lot of it is just industry studies and articles and then some of the published MPD information that comes available through certain uh, advocacy groups like People for Bikes. People for Bikes had this data room that we were able to get into and we just, just consumed anything we could on electric bicycles. It didn't matter the region they were talking about. We just had to learn everything. And then we, you know, and the nice thing is, is once you know close to everything about a certain product or industry, what we found is it makes decisions so instinctual that we can just rely on our instincts because our instincts have only been formed by all this information we've taken in. So it allows us to be really fast and not have to think like, oh, is this something we should do? because our instinct is gonna say, yes, do it or D don't do it. And we just always stick to our instincts. Um, but it's just, it's, there's a lot of press that has surrounded this market, maybe not so much in the US, but definitely over in Europe where it's much more mature. And we just, wherever there was an article, we read it.